Hey, cruisers. I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV. <laughs> it's late on the West Coast. It's really late on the East Coast, but we have breaking news for you today. And that is that Carnival Cruise Line has joined the big three and the rest of, well, some of their other Carnival Corp brands in removing pre-cruise testing for vaccinated guests and welcoming unvaccinated cruisers to sail. I mean, this is the news I suppose you could say we've been waiting for for over two years. Depending on how you feel about all of these protocol changes, it's happening, folks. We're getting more back to normal. Just earlier today, we announced this basically the same protocols for Princess Cruises, which might mean that Holland America is coming soon here, too. And of course, Cunard and P&O, other Carnival brands, also made some similar announcements today as well. And earlier this week, we heard from Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, but wow. Wow, this is crazy. So let's talk a little bit about the pro protocols. I'm gonna go into some specifics, but because it's late, <laughs> Cruise Tips TV after dark, right? If this is just too much for you to absorb, click on the link in the description of this video, check out the press release. We're gonna help you through it. So basically, what Carnival said today is that they are not going to be doing testing anymore for vaccinated guests on cruises that are 16 nights and less. They're eliminating the vaccine exemption process basically and saying that vaccinated guests are basically going to need to show proof of vaccination but no longer are going to have to test. Now, if you are an unvaccinated guest and you're going to be sailing, you will still need to test. There's a lot of exemptions that come into these announcements and it's really important to note that this, um, this particular announcement from Carnival exempts several key cruise locations, including Canada, which includes Alaska cruises, right? Bermuda, Greece, and Australia. Local guidelines are just making it such that in those areas, they have to stick with different protocols. So you're going to want to read about that. And if you're going on a voyage over 16 nights or longer, things may be a little bit different for you. So let's read through some of this again. If it's easier for you to check out the press release in the description of this video, do just that. Here it is. Starting September 6, 2022 or later, vaccinated guests must continue to provide evidence of their vaccination status prior to embarkation. But Pre-cruise testing is no longer required except for cruises to Canada, Bermuda, Greece, and Australia, and on voyages over 16 nights or longer. Unvaccinated guests, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, are welcome to sail and are no longer required to apply for a vaccine exemption except cruises in Australia or on voyages 16 nights or longer. Unvaccinated guests or those who do not provide proof of vaccination must present the results of a negative PCR or antigen test taken within three days of embarkation. Now beforehand, if you got an exemption, it was always a PCR test. It wasn't an antigen test. You couldn't do those home tests from Abbott Binax, Binax, excuse me, you had to go to a lab, but now it looks like they're simplifying things a little bit, a uh, little bit more. Important to note that guests under the age of five are totally exempt from vaccination and testing requirements from the U.S. and under the age of 12 from Australia. So, wow, guys, unless you're cruising on a voyage over 16 nights or to one of the locations that we've mentioned, things have really opened up for you with Carnival Cruise Line. Again, Things have opened up across the cruise industry quite a bit this week, especially with Princess Cruises, who we heard from earlier today. Basically the same protocols, anything under 16 days that doesn't include those countries that we mentioned, you are going to have a lot less restrictions. So what do you think about all this? These are big changes. This has been a really long couple of years and now we're seeing the world open up. Uh, just earlier, gosh, was it yesterday? The CDC loosened their general COVID-19 restrictions. They said, you know, you don't really need to socially distance anymore. The COVID protocols for quarantining, if you're exposed to someone with COVID, have been relaxed. Just the world is kind of going back to, I guess, what we could call normal. But is it really normal? Will it ever be normal? Let us know your thoughts down in the description of this video. Check out all of our press releases on our website this week. There's been a lot going on and we can't wait to hear from you and we can't wait to see you on the high seas.